January 13th, 2017. We are here analyzing the Winnipeg Jets in Arizona facing the Coyotes. It is 4-1 for Arizona after two periods. Tyler, what is your opinion? Why are the Jets so far behind? Well, uh, what, taking a look at this game and uh, the previous games, um, you would it would be easy to realize that uh, there's nothing stopping the puck when the other team shoots it. Now, uh, do you agree that, with me that Hutchinson is better than Hellebuck? Has he made a difference in this game, do you think? I do think he is better than Hellebuck, but I don't think we should all be excited about Hutchinson. I don't think he, but he, if you want to compare them to personally, yeah, he is. So you don't, you wouldn't be satisfied if Hutchinson became the starter and they just uh, got rid of Hellebuck. You, I, I would think both goalies need to go personally. Yeah, they both need to go. Yeah. Now, what do you think about bringing Comrie up from the Moose? No, I don't think he's cutting it. Uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I was at a Moose game, and uh, Comrie let in, well, a couple of bad goals, actually. So I don't, out of three, two of them were uh, under what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And it's funny, though, how um, Hellebuck, some games can, like, get a shutout. Yeah, I don't know. It's like he uh, takes some, it's like he takes some, pills or something i don't know he's really just good yeah he's, he's like uh, really he's like uh, and then i think that puts healthy. it in the mind of maurice that wow we've got a goaltender and and the whole head office they're walking around with an extra bounce in their in their in their step and the, thinking yeah see we got a goalie we got a goalie but i don't know did he take a steroid pill that before that game was did he get his yeah. paycheck is that why hellebuck played well that game and then, the, see, if you're a professional hockey player, okay, you need consistency. You need to go out there every game and play the same way every game. With Hellebuck, yeah. he gets a shutout Calgary, 2 nothing, And then the next game b lets Montreal walk all over us. And now this game looks like we're losing this one, too. Yeah, it's all because of, like, him. Like, there's, like, there's no, like, you when you know when you, like, there's like no, you never know. He sucks more than he's good. Like right, you know, right, you, right. You know, if you go on NHL game stream and you check and you see Hellebuck starting the game, you know that what what what's gonna result from that? Well, you you don't know what to expect. You never, you can never say. Well, I think the Jets are gonna beat Colorado, which yeah. in twenty this season, sixteen seventeen season, Colorado sucks bad. So if the Jets play them and Hellebuck's in net. There's no way of knowing no. if they're going to win or be. They might even lose being blown out. You, you never know. And yeah. I hate reading comments, and you'll probably see comments on this video, Tyler, on your channel here, that people are going to defend the goaltending and blame the players. Like, I don't know any human being who can look at this game and previous Montreal and New York Islanders and whatever other games he got pulled. Well, and not even when he's pulled. Sometimes he even plays bad, but he doesn't get pulled. Right. I'm just talking about the games that he's been pulled recently. Right. Montreal Islanders. I don't know anyone who can look at those games. Yeah. This game. And Paul Maurice shuffles lines. He shuffles lines around, thinking that's the problem. I've noticed in today's game, January thirteenth. I've noticed that they've scratched Ben Sherrod, a defensive player, yeah. because Maurice does. Does he not see? That the goaltending is the whole pro. I believe the goaltending is uh, is like a hundred percent of the of the issue. Think about it. If we had some, if the Jets had a goaltender like Bishop, Ben Bishop, he would uh, like they would they would know how the what, what goaltending they're gonna get. They would know. You would be able to tell when you see the beginning of the game. Right. What you would generally have an idea if they would beat this team or not. Right. If right. If they're playing Colorado, if they're playing. Well, yeah. The Islanders. If we if had, because because Bishop you know. Bishop is is becoming available next season, right? 
That's what, yeah. Now, is Shevel Day off? Actually, does he think we need... I really don't believe that the head office in the Jets organization... They, I don't really believe that they think we need a goaltender, and that blows my yeah, mind. They think this clown, you could yeah. go far. They, 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 how far? Yeah. For the Jets, the championship would be entering the playoffs. Yeah, that's... Don't true. think of Stanley Cup. Th that would never happen with, with Hellebuck or Hutchinson. That's like never. Asking, that's like asking a plan. Hutchinson is a is a tad better than Hellebuck, but it you're you're not looking at Stanley Cup quality goaltending. I wouldn't even say really playoffs. He would just have a better record. Now, is there any other part of the Jets that you think um, could use some work, or are we going to blame it all on the goaltending? Because I know there's going to be people that are going to blame other aspects on on other issues. Is uh, it power play? Yeah, the yeah. Power play, they need to work a little more on that. Yeah, not enough to lose games like they do, but yeah, it is a bit yeah. of an issue. Let's, it, say they, let's say they had a final record like last year, 35, 39, and 8. Yeah. This year, with good goaltending, they would probably be like 40. And it would be nice if they hit the net more often from the blue line. When they do those slappers, they're always high or wide or like, what? what's up with that? Like... I believe yeah, that's right. a big, a big, when you're down, you're always chasing games, always chasing it. And then you get a shot and it's always off the net. It's always wide. But like, who knows if that's wide, right? They're not exactly feeling, they're not exactly feeling the best, like, in the mood to play. Yeah. They are playing catch Yeah, up. when you're playing catch up, reason, yeah. They're going to be. And you can see the difference midway through the first of this game today, how they just lost all yeah, their. They started the game. As if a team that had a goalie. Yeah, yeah. And now it's brought back to that. And didn't level. Wheeler say um, last game against Montreal, like January? Every time it's in our end, it goes in. What yeah. date was that? January 11th, 2017? Or on the 13th. Yeah, that was so, two days ago, two days right? Ago, yeah. So on the 11th of January, Wheeler said, gee, it seems like every time they enter our zone, it, the puck goes in. I think that's Wheeler's way of subliminally blaming his goaltender. But he doesn't want to say, hey, man, like you because it could start a fight. And then you know, you know that your clowns over there that run the team ain't going to get rid of him, so you're stuck with him, right? So you that's don't want to right. say anything. That's right. But, that, but yet, yeah, power play, I guess, could use work. But again, they wouldn't be that bad. Right. They should just touch off. Well, we should go. Looks like uh, behind you there, they're getting ready to begin the third period here. Right. So, uh, people, uh, give us comments. Let us know uh, what what's you. Your opinion, what's Bob? your opinion on this? Because I believe. I personally think if we had a goalie like Ben Bishop, you'd see a pretty different Jets. Yes, and he is available next year. They so, but uh, like I said, I don't believe that they even think that the goalie is an issue, which blows my f in mind. I can't you believe think it. That's an issue. All right, catch you on the next one. Thank you.